Sounds like a good plan. Ooh, what's this? Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. This is pretty creepy how Chloe is looking at this same map. The one that we both know how it ends in part one. Wow, Arcadia Bay. It's so crazy how in the prequel, it's all nice and sunny. And then part two is just pure destruction. So creepy. So creepy. I want mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this. Love after loss. A guide to forgiving oneself and moving forward. Aww. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. That's so cliche as Ugh. how this book sucks. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Another cliche better. thing. Oh, come on. This book is a little crap. Really? I can write better material than that. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Mom's finally making her bed again? I guess that's a good s I mean, after a while, she, she just has she got to learn how to move on. Well, not move on, but to... Learn how to live with it. I should call my phone. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me look. Let me look through that drawer. I want to see what's in it. Condoms! Ah, Mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Wow, so they're having relations. <gasps> I don't know how I feel about that. She's having relations with her boyfriend. I made this for Mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. Wait, why would she do that? Is What's she the matter, ashamed? Mom? You don't want Dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I really don't care if I get in trouble for snooping, but this is disrespectful to dad. It really is. Like, that's our family. Stop hiding the past. <sighs> dad, if you could see us now. I'm with Chloe on that one. I do miss my Can't dad. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Oh, this is awkward. This is so awkward. She sell she's trying to sell the engagement ring. Wow. That's insane. I don't know how I feel about that. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Oh, man. She, it's like she's... How long ago has William passed away? I mean, if it was instantly, I would have been pissed. But if it's been like a couple of years, then you gotta give her grace, Chloe. Up, oh, now I know where my phone is. It sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Wait, is it in the bathroom? What? Ugh, I drank way too much last night. 
Or was it just enough? I can't believe there I left it in the, in the bathroom. I wonder how many calls I've missed. Got it. Ooh. Elliot? Who's Elliot? And also, Max. Yo, Queen of the Crickets. What's the latest? Wow. Dude, have you noticed the dates in between the messages? What's the latest from December and then Max from January? You mean to tell me you don't have any time to reply back to your friend? No wonder Chloe was pissed off at you. Anyway, come on, it's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ugh, rain check. Huh, try to score weed. That's funny. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything, okay? Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Oh, oh gosh. Breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, oh. yeah, okay. Great. Since I can't, since I, I came home I dumb late, purse in her room. there will be consequences. Ah, oh, great. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Chloe, you're so stupid. <laughs> you're so stupid for that one. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard. Scourge of Arcadia Bay. No, but seriously, why is Max not texting Chloe back? Are you having so much fun that you just conveniently ignore Chloe like that? That's like so dead wrong. I don't... I'm annoyed. Truly annoyed. All right, the purse. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Mm-hmm. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Okay, all yeah. right. That really makes me want to hurry. Yeah, me either. I'm not really looking forward to being scolded. I already know what. Coming, Mom. Finally, I'm so you can not put ready. my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Okay. Dining table, here I come. Ah, oh, the photos. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Yeah, I'm still a little salty on that one, too. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. Ugh, oh, the fact that they're having relations. I mean, I get it, she's moving on, but still, it's like, Mom, why can't you, I don't know, take things a little slower than that? It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Okay, I see it. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Maybe David likes pot roast? How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Because of the fact that your mom cooks diner food, and since you're already used to that, it's like wh Dad's whatever at this jar. point. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Joyce Price, a.k.a. Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Okay, all right. I'll do just that. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. I'm really surprised that same snow globe is still there. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Hmm. 
Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Shipyard closing, though... Real estate developer Sean Prescott promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he would be ending operations effective immediately. And he moved not surprising to longtime residents of the region. The Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Stephen Doors Association defined pension plan. Michelle Kinsley Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the action as our right in recuperating unrecovered losses against debts owed. Sean Prescott could not be reached for a comment. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? A wildfire warning has been issued for all residents of Arcadia Bay. Fines doubled for illegal fireworks and campfires in unauthorized areas. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Damn, Corey, it's like that? Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige ac academics of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasis, emphasized that in addition to merit-based tuition awards this year won by sophomores Stella Hill and Brooke Scott, the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. Wow, a lot of action, a lot of news in Arcadia Bay. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Made that for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. The fact Wait, that she those still are kept Mom's that. Keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his home, maybe? This will defend. Ooh, that's awkward. That is so awkward how David's placing his stuff on the ashtray I made for mom. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. It's called depression, Chloe. Understandable <laughs> Hard depression. Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? What's going on here? Family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. I really don't like how she's simply erasing the old family picture. Dad always talked about upgrading dating. to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia, and her first mate, Long Max Silver. At least that picture's still here. But I can actually understand Chloe's anger and frustration with David. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Because it seems like as soon as David came into the picture, Joyce kind of like erased everything from William. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Wow, $550, that's a lot of money. Uh, late payment fee, 50, past due, 500, new amount, 550. Please remit payment. Account delete one after 30 days of this notice. Thank you. Blackwell Academy, the future needs excellence. Dang. This, show, this school's no joke when it comes to the expenses. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Really? Really? Job fair, rear, sorry, real recruiters want to meet you. Wednesday, April 21st, Arcadia Town Hall, resume assistance, career counseling. I bet David ends up getting a job at Blackwell. 
as a security guard. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Support our vets. Damn, Chloe. I didn't know he was low-key leeching off of Joyce, too. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. All right, Joyce, talk to me. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls I said what early. I said. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before mm. I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. Oh, she was up and waiting for us. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Hmm. They're Between both frustrated, I can tell. Between your and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. How David do I you know? Need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. With what? If he can't even help himself. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes really? when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times, too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. What? Very funny. You I don't want to nice. talk to David. You will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? 
<sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Holy. and- If your father could hear you. If my no, dad was you're here. Right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? Because you, you're Chloe. basically replacing that guy. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Can I just walk to school instead? I'm not trying to play nice with... <sighs> I guess... I guess I'll do it. I could definitely understand why Chloe has such no resentment. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. This is crazy. This is crazy. Ooh. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Greenwich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Anyways. This is so crazy. What a piece of crap. Actually, that's a the nice car, car Chloe. No, no, come on. It, the car is nice, Chloe. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? You see, I'm I can see you why. Men will leave without us. I can see why you don't like him, Chloe, with his stupid, snarky remarks. Excuse no, me? No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Did he literally snap at me? You're not Chloe, my dad. You don't tell me what to do. Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Damn. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Hey now, that monster car is actually pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. But I really don't like how he talks to me, though. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Wait a minute. I think he is, Chloe. I think he's low-key moving in. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. First of all, how come Joyce is not taking the time to actually talk with Chloe about the possibility of her and David living together? Is she gonna like let him move in and then expect Chloe to get over it? Because that is not how you do things. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Man, this is crazy. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Well, I'm glad it's still here. And he better not touch David's that. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Wow, the fact that the mom's just taking away photos. Uh oh. Mom's been cleaning again. 
Oh, this is so hurtful. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? You'll be surprised with everything coming back nowadays. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Yo, Chloe, shut up! You're so stupid! Oh, Chloe. You're hilarious, you know that? Mom should date literally anyone else. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. What? How you do everything is how you do- Now Bye. I need a shower. Look at you being philosophical. Whatever, David. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Great! Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. A vacation? So there are some things I a want vacation? to be clear about. A vacation? Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... My mother what? You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't have to do anything just because you're in the army. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. That's enough. No. Whatever. I stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Oh, these washed up Joyce, army logos and your slogans. Mother, she's hurting, Chloe. And and I'm not for you. And I'm not hurting. You've had it rough. No doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up. Get your act together and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other.
Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.